Mosaics is a joint capability technology demonstration, or JCTD, effort focusing on the integration of security technologies for enhanced situational awareness and defense of industrial control systems associated with task-critical assets. This effort will demonstrate the ability to baseline control system state and semi-autonomously identify, respond to, and recover from asymmetric attacks on critical infrastructure in mission-relevant time. Detection, investigation, and responses will be done in accordance with procedures outlined in the DOD's Advanced Cyber ICS Tactics, Techniques, and Procedures document. The focus of this reference implementation is to detect a malicious process running on an OPC server, check system integrity, aggregate findings, and perform mitigations based on the results. An industrial control system for a power grid is used in this demonstration. Here we see the status of the Programmable Logic Controllers, or PLCs, on the network. The green lights show that the PLCs are working as expected and that there are no interruptions. The attack script is run on the OPC server remotely. This script sends a crafted Modbus message to an SEL protective relay, causing the relay to go into a trip state and open a breaker. If the power grid is operational when this occurs, causing a remote trip in this manner will stop the distribution of electrical load through that breaker and power will be lost to systems utilizing this breaker. We know the attack was successful as the green light for this PLC turned red, showing that it's in a tripped state. The detection of this attack begins with Windows System Monitor or Sysmon. Running on the OPC server, Sysmon is collecting information on running processes. Using the elastic stack for the seam, the process information is ingested via the WinLogBeat agent. Using the capabilities of the elastic stack, the incoming information is checked against a baseline of known running processes. Any unexpected process is flagged in a separate search index. At the same time, Nozomi, an ICS IDS solution, is using a baseline of the network to alert on changes. When the attack script runs and sends the Modbus command, Nozomi also alerts as it has not seen this command being sent from the system before. Concurrently, the orchestrator, Demisto, is running a job to pull in the results from the irregular search index. When results are received, it checks the Nozomi appliance for alerts. The aggregation of the two alerts improves confidence and causes the main ingestion playbook to begin execution. This playbook determines the type of incident and pulls in the list of integrity checks and potential mitigations to run related to the incident type. This leads into the main detection playbook to perform the integrity checks. This playbook iterates through the group of all integrity checks and performs each check in the list that is required for this particular incident type. For the scenario of a malicious process, the checks performed are related to process, registry, and communications integrity on the OPC server. A check for unauthorized users and a firewall log review are also performed. Once completed, each check will take the results and determine severity based on the findings. Severity is rated on a scale from 0 to 3, with 0 being the least severe and 3 being the most. In this scenario, if all checks report a severity of 2 or less, the information is logged in the seam and playbook execution ceases. If any check reports a severity of 3, the workflow moves to the main mitigation playbook. This playbook pulls in the list of mitigations and other information to present to the analyst. Integrity check information, including severity and mitigation options, are shown to an analyst via a custom Grafana dashboard. The analyst can choose a number of mitigations to run or elect to choose none. In this scenario, multiple integrity checks return a severity score of 3 so the analyst will choose to run both mitigations, network segmentation and IT asset segmentation. The first mitigation, network segmentation, segments this specific ICS enclave from all other enclaves. The second mitigation, asset segmentation, sends an action to the Palo Alto NextGen firewall, instructing it to block traffic from the OPC server itself. At this point, the subnet is blocked from sending or receiving traffic 
and the OPC server is blocked from communicating with any machine on its subnet. Here we can see the DeMisto dashboard, showing us some high-level metrics. It is important to note that the mean time to resolution is only 3 minutes. This is significantly less time than it would take an analyst to manually perform the data collection, analysis, and mitigation actions. This concludes the demo for the Mosaic's JCTD Spiral Zero Reference Implementation.